Hello everyone, today we are going to uh, discuss about the difference between arch tempering and mar tempering heat treatment process. So these two heat treatment processes are the special uh, kind of hardening heat treatment process. So what is hardening heat treatment? So in hardening heat treatment we will see in this diagram, if you have x, uh, this y axis you have temperature and here you have time. So some critical temperature you have. So we have to heat above this uh, critical temperature and hold for some time and quench then this rapid cooling so uh, this uh, do the rapid cooling so we will achieve here martin site structure so this martin site has high hardness at the same time it shows high brittleness and it also shows higher residual stresses So these are the few things uh, we have achieved in this hardening treatment. So what is ash tempering and mar tempering? So in ash tempering process, so we will make one uh, TTT diagram. So this is time temperature transformation diagram. So in y axis again we have temperature and here we have time. So there is certain uh, critical temperature and then we have C curve. So the first curve what we have it is transformation start temperature and the second curve is transformation finish curve and here we have two special uh, one temperature that is martensitic start temperature and here we have martensitic finish temperature so now we will see the ash tempering so we have to heat uh, that steel up to certain temperature uh, this uh, this above this uh, critical temperature and hold for some time and then do the rapid cooling do the rapid cooling between this 230 to 5 uh, this uh, 450 degree it means in the banetic region so this above this we have a paralytic region here we have a banetic region this one so in this you have to do uh, this rapid cooling till that and then hold till that you will achieve fully banetic structure and then cool air cool so you will here get fully banetic structure so this is what ash tempering heat treatment is heat up to this uh, 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 heat your steel above uh, this uh, critical temperature hold for some time do the rapid cooling between uh, this uh, uh, 230 to 450 degrees celsius in the banetic region and then hold till that you will achieve fully banetic structure so this is what ash tempering process is now come to the mar tempering process again we will make here one triple t diagram so temperature here time here uh, this is your transformation temperature like that so you have martensitic start temperature you have martensitic finish temperature now in mar tempering uh, this process are happened heat your steel to certain a uh, critical temperature hold for some time and do the rapid cooling just above the ms temperature here till there and then hold it for some time and then do the air cooling here so here you will get martin side structure now what is the difference between this martin side structure and that you will achieve in this case where you are not holding above MS temperature just uh, cooling it this rapidly till you uh, this uh, till up to room temperature here you also getting martin site structure so the difference between this martin city structure and this martin city structure is that here you are getting some kind of ductility also and also lower uh, this residual stresses in this one so that's why this martin uh, this uh, mar tempering heat treatment is uh, yeah, is very uh, useful for steel or cast iron i like that so so this is the basic difference between ash tempering and mar tempering so first uh, in this ash tempering you have to heat your steel above critical temperature hold for some time and then uh, do the rapid cooling till uh, this uh, uh, till uh, in this uh, banetic region and then hold till uh, this uh, you will get fully banetic structure in the mar tempering process you have to heat your steel up to uh, this above a certain critical temperature hold for some time and then do the rapid cooling just above the ms temperature and then hold for 
some time and then do the air cooling so here you will get martensite structure and further if you want to improve uh, uh, more then and then and, uh, and then this uh, this uh, we have to do this a uh, tempering process so here you will achieve a temper martensite process so this is how you can uh, differentiate arch tempering and mar tempering in arch tempering you will get fully venetic structure and in mar tempering you will get martensitic structure so thank you so much